order is when rain falls, hits an impervious surface such as your roof or asphalt or the ground and runs off. One of the biggest problems with storm water is the quantity of it. You know, most homes in Daphne and the Eastern Shore are 2,000 square feet. When you get a one inch rain event, you have over 1,200 gallons running off your house into our streets, down in, into our streams. Our streams that used to be three foot wide and 10 to 12 inches deep, 18 inches deep, are now 30 foot wide and 18 foot deep. Now during a normal flow, they're still holding the small amount of water, but during a rain event, so much quantity of storm water and the velocity is so great, it's just eating the banks out and just really eroding our streams. All that sediment ends up into Mobile Bay and into the Gulf. Sea Grant works with local partners like the City of Daphne uh, and the Mobile Bay National Estuary Program and the I-11 Clean Water Partnership to offer regular classes on how to construct and install rain barrels at your home. Uh, it's a two-hour class and we go over everything. There's a $40 fee that lets you build the rain barrel and take it home at the end of the day. It's got everything necessary to install the barrel. So by the end of the workshop, you are ready to set up a barrel at your house. A rain barrel is a best management practice that you can use to manage storm water. What, what this does is it attaches to a gutter and all the storm water that runs off your house enters into the rain barrel and is stored for future use. If we all start it at the house and ma manage storm water at our residence, then the cities and the state, they don't have such a big job to manage. So one way you can do that is install best management practices at your home to handle storm water. The rain barrel we just discussed is one of those. Another one is uh, bioretention areas. They're basically depressions in your yard that allow storm water to sit during a rain event and within 48 hours later, it infiltrates and recharges our groundwater. So instead of your home becoming part of the pollutant source, if you implement BMPs, you can actually be a part of the, the management of storm water.